So today I'm going to do an unboxing of my All Plants delivery. I've ordered six meals and two desserts. So we'll have a look at those. Um, this is my first All Plants delivery box. I um, ordered them just because I'd seen them online and normally it's not something that I do. We are very much people who cook food from scratch. So don't tend to ever buy freezer meals other than like the occasional pizza so this is like completely new for me but because they're 100% vegan and sustainable i just thought i'd give it a go i thought it'd be a way of having like a takeaway meal um or a restaurant meal but without going out so in the long run it probably would save you a little bit of money because in total, I think I paid like £55 for the six meals and a pudding. So, you know, that's not so bad. You can spend like £30 per meal for two people when you go out to a restaurant. So, yeah, let's have a look. So, this is really great to see because it's 5.30 now. I've just got home from work and this um, parcel's been on my doorstep since 8.30. So I was actually quite concerned about what it would be like. It's been raining all day, but here you can see that they offer a recycling scheme. So they pack it with this material just to keep it cool. And it is. Guys, there's literally ice on it. Oh, is this that? Ah. So this is your little ice pack. And this is how it all keeps cool. So you can reuse or recycle. And then here are the meals. Just thought I'd add a little bit onto this video because since I first filmed it, I've actually ordered another delivery of All Plants. Um, I really enjoyed all of the first meals. Sorry, I didn't show those, uh, but they lasted, you know, um, the month. And then we reordered and chose six new meals. So we've had one of them, which I did film because it was absolutely delicious. And I'm just really hoping that it's not only included on the summer menu and that I'm going to be able to order it again because I literally ordered six of those. It was so good. So this is the Rainbow Falafel Meze. It consists of roasted rainbow veg with falafel balls and a vibrant beetroot hummus, which I'm sure you'll all agree looks delicious. It also comes with bulgur wheat and is topped with a sprinkling of crushed pistachios. This is probably my favourite all plants dish, not to mention this meal consists of two of your five a day, is a source of protein, iron and vitamin C. So you're not going to need to worry about getting your vitamins and proteins if you're ordering all plants meals. So that's another great thing about all plants. Not only are they easy, they're also very nutritious. Nutritious, I can't say that word, nutritious. We did top ours up with an avocado, um, some cucumber and some sesame seeds. And I believe we also put some chili oil on there as well. This is all optional and of course you can customise however you want to and add to them when serving them up. Yeah, I'll just show you some of the other meals that we've got in the freezer. I don't think we're going to have one tonight just because we are going to make a stir fry. Because we've got some veg. Like I said, we chose all the different ones and they look just as good to be honest. The only thing that I didn't order again this time was the two desserts that we ordered. They were really nice. But they were quite small and we're not really um, dessert people. We're more like savoury people anyway. That's not my vibe but they are nice and i would like to try their smoothies one day too these are the five that we have left <gasps> there's like a bolognese and a pesto greens right in front of me oh, another protein power ball 
golden peanut satay and a nacho bean chili. I mean, it's like going to a restaurant, but it's in your house. Just the best food, to be honest. Um, the only thing that we I would say is like a bit of a con is um, the portion size. So all of these meals that we have are made for two people. They're not huge and we're not big eaters either, but they're not like huge. So if you do like a lot of food, it might not be enough. And that's the only feedback that I gave when I reviewed my first order as well. But I don't really know what you can do about that. I mean, should I just stop being greedy? Maybe. Let's have a look. So these are the meals that we have in our second order. This looks amazing. So you've got roasted tofu, coconut, adami smash with grains, chili, broccoli, sesame cabbage, and a pea and adami medley. <gasps> that just sounds so good. But they all just sound so good. Oh, this one's got cashew sour cream. Mm, pasta, creamy basil sauce, pesto and walnuts. We've got a creamy peanut, coconut and ginger curry with roasted butternut squash and a minced mushroom lentil and walnut ragu. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, almond palm crumb. Just me like, mmm. This time we're having the nacho bean chilli. This sweet and lightly spiced tomato chilli comes with bolotti, kidney and black turtle beans topped with red onion, cashew sour cream, sweet corn salsa and tortilla chips. To cook it, you just need to pull off the clear film and put it in the oven at 200 degrees for around 40 to 45 minutes. It literally couldn't be easier to cook. Sometimes there are microwave options, um, but we always tend to use the oven. This dish is perfect for a Friday or a Saturday night. As you can probably tell from my bad camera skills, we were already a little bit too excited after having a drink for these nachos. This dish is a cheesy beanie bowl of nacho goodness. You could even add some jalapenos and guacamole to it too. Um, and yeah, so here's a shot of me being a little bit tipsy and tucking into these nachos. Yep, approved. So overall, I'd say that we're very happy with the All Plants delivery. The only thing that I've not got around to doing yet is returning the boxes. So the packaging is recyclable, but I just assumed from previous like fresh vegetable delivery subscription services that I've used that when you get your new box the delivery man also picks up your old box but that's actually not the case so you have to find your nearest drop-off centre and drop them off there or recycle them yourself so that's just one thing that I haven't done yet but I'm gonna look into tonight and see if I can drop them off because currently they're both just sat in my shed and I don't really want the third one to arrive without knowing what I'm going to do because they're not like tiny boxes so yeah that's one thing that you do have to consider you will have to like dispose of the box yourself. Hello I just thought I'd add a little bit onto the end of this video I'm editing it now and as you can see it's taken me a while to post this I've even got new hair um I'm just editing it and I just thought as a final word I'd say that I do think all plants are a really good uh, value for money they're not um super cheap but they are very healthy and they're all plant-based so it's a really good introduction if you're looking to start eating plant-based um or trying to cut down on like a dairy and meat intake they're really easy and obviously you don't have to think about ingredients uh, you get all your protein and your vitamins so i do think they're really good value they are really good delivery as well i still haven't um dropped off the boxes they're still in my shed but i will get around to doing that i should probably just recycle them at this point but yeah, I'd say overall I enjoyed like 90% of them. And the ones that I didn't enjoy, 
it's probably just personal preference really so i'd recommend them i still haven't tried smoothies so if you've tried smoothies let me know and also let me know which meals to taste because there are still quite a few that i haven't tried i'm looking forward to a new winter menu on that note i'll end this video and i'll see you in the next one bye